Welcome back to Phoenix Point, folks. We are on episode three, and we are going to go in and do an area scan here. Well, actually, we're gonna. Hmm. I thought we had. Why can't we deploy there? Maybe I screwed up by canceling the deployment. Well, let's. Area scan. Why? Uh, wait. I don't want it paused. Diplomacy. Synedrion. Okay. The diplomacy tab displays the attitude of the main factions towards you and each other. The better the relations, the more willing the factions would be to cooperate with you. Protecting faction havens and performing faction missions is a fast way to gain their trust. Okay. Havens are settlements with their own leader and allegiance. You can see all relevant haven information through the haven info action. Okay. So haven info. The haven screen contains all vital information including Haven Leader, Affiliation, and Available Actions. Some actions require a positive Haven attitude or specific research before becoming available. Okay. So, status missed covered. We have... What's the incursion? What's that? So, alright. So, Nippur, the leader is Nicola Kachatrian. Sorry if I butchered that. Population is 11,749 and declining military strength is 16, production capacity is 217, and food supply is 9,000. And let's have a look here. Okay, so this is attacking. Okay, we, we don't want to attack them. Uh, okay. So I guess we're moving on. Let's speed up a bit. The Dreamers Awaken, Fort Nonhalema. Fort Nonhalema is a haven run by New Jericho, which means that normally things are quiet and under control. But right now there is an emergency. A group of soldiers is on a killing spree. It began with strange dreams, voices heard in the night. A local doctor tells our operatives. A local doctor tells our operatives. I could not detect any psychological changes, and there were, or physiological changes, and there were certainly no signs of infection. But their behavior simply cannot be explained by PTSD or similar conditions, which we at New Jericho are sadly quite familiar with. It's like something else has driven them mad. If we stop these soldiers, New Jericho will undoubtedly be grateful to us. Okay, let's start a mission. Stop a group of rampaging soldiers. Let's do it. Everyone is going. And we are deploy deploying our squad. So I wonder how we get new soldier soldiers. Maybe I've missed something. Poison will inflict damage at the start of your turn, and then the poison value will reduce and inflict less damage the next turn until no poison. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, let's see. Uh, what do we have here? We have an exit point. We do. But we need to take out these guys first. So it seems that we probably want to go this way. Let's stand by there. Can we get up on the roof? We can. Somehow. This looks weird. Awaiting instructions. 
Can we get up there? Ah, we have to go inside and then... Okay. So... Relocate. You come over here. My cat really wants some attention right now. Right, let's overwatch here just in case someone comes around the corner. I don't think they will, but you never know. Instructions received. And you. There's a sniper, and so the sniper seems to be really good at killing stuff. So we'll send three guys the other way. And wait. All right. Independent. What does that mean? Okay, so we hear something in there. If we go over here, can we then see them and shoot them, maybe? Let's try it. Yep. Okay. Let's try and fire our weapon. Uh, that's a big gun. So if we took out his arm, we can't take out his butt. The legs we can though. Let's let's go for the arm. Oh, right. Let's come back here. Oh, that's the dash thing. But we'll just stand by. Alright, so then... We can... Let's come up here, see if there's someone. Nope. Let's I'm come over here. Still no one. But I think we'll overwatch in... No, we can't overwatch in that direction. Then we'll overwatch in that direction. You... Uh, you can't move that far. Let's do you first. Come over here. More oh, trends. there's an enemy. Darn it. Uh, let's... Let's go. go back here. And stand by. Then you can... So expensive having these heavy weapons. Got it. We really need to get this guy some movement points. Right, then there's you. So if we come over here, we can see him, but we, and we can shoot him with our pistol and move out of the way. Right, let's. Shoot him in the face. Surprisingly low damage for getting shot in the face, in my opinion. I I think I would take more than 30 damage by from being shot in the face. To be honest. Wait. Okay. So, if we come over here, let's go. Enemy ahead. Actually, we can just stand here and shoot him. But I think I want to come over here and fire Amy. our weapon. Let's try and take out his arm. His arm is disabled. That should mean that he can't shoot. He's also bleeding. We can only see that one guy now. We're at the moment. Let's come over here. And fire our weapon. What? Where? Whoa. Where is he? There. Let's shoot him in the head. 
And do it again. Ah, enemy engaged. He's not dead though, which sucks. Let's go. Um, not much we can do here. Uh, costs three will points, but I don't have any more action points. So I need to remember to use my dash ability. Most decidedly. Alright, so if you come back here. And high cover. And fire your weapon. At this guy's arm, I think. Good. That was the torso, though. Let's move back here and stand by. So he can't see any enemies right now. The first, th furthest he can get is there. If we move him back there, he can't shoot. So I think we'll start with this guy. He can get over there and fire his weapon. Or throw a grenade, maybe. And what if we threw a grenade up here? It would do something to him, but not much. I think I'd rather shoot then. Uh, fire the weapon and take out the arm again. But we hit something else. What did we hit? We have hit some arms, some torso, some everything. And let's move back in high cover again. Now you could get jump. Sorry about that. My cat was being a pain. Can you see something there? I doubt it. Nope. So let's overwatch in this direction. Holding position. Okay. He's coming out. He shouldn't be able to hit us. He will, if he can shoot. That guy is running away. I don't blame him. He's been shot in the face several times. Let's move over here and finish him off. Uh, okay, that doesn't work. Just fire then. See you in the next life. Not really fair shooting someone in the back, but hey, it is what it is. All right, we need to get this guy over here and help because there are three bad guys over here. So you, uh, do we have dash on you? No, we don't. So you run over here and bash. No, I want to fire. I want, wait, bash? How much does that do? Not a whole lot. Aiming. This does more. Let's try and take out his arm. Success. 60 damage. That wasn't enough. But we can still bash. Right, he's stunned. Okay. So that's well worth it. That is well worth it. You come over here. And 
Why are your weapon at his torso? Whoa! <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan! Jesus! Alright, let's dash. Over here. And then fire the weapon. And where do we want to hit him? Stick in the head. And fire the weapon again. In the head. Right, he's not well off. Now this guy he can get into some kind of cover. Oh, my turn. You're gonna get it. Oh, 72 damage. And he damaged my rifle as well. Bastard. Hey, you were stunned. Fire. At him. His head is dead, so why isn't the rest of him dead? Jesus Christ, you're a bad shot, dude. Alright, let's just reload then. You can come up here on my way and take a shot. Where do I see the chance to hit? Is there a chance to hit? I'm not really sure. Let's try to go right. This Reaper thing was damaged. So how many bullets does he have left in his rifle? How do I see that? I'm not really sure. Alright, let's fire our weapon. At his head. And... Fire a weapon again. At his arm. Alright, he's down. Right, you... Come out here. And fire your weapon. He's down too. And then... Can we medicate us two action points? Okay. So let's just stand by. You... Let's move over to the others. No point in him being there all on his own. Right, so we've killed... What? One, two... Three, we know that there's at least one more because we've seen him and also the Let me catch my breath. The uh what's it called? I'm going. The mission isn't over. Let's reload. I'm Two. listening. Dash Come up is. here. And why can't you reload? I guess... What? Alright, never mind. You... Come up here. Anyone who can reload, I want to reload. Come over here and by you just sprint as far as you can and we can't reload you so that's that so we heard something there okay I'm here now this guy he can't do a darn thing on my way let's head over here and overwatch this way
you head over here and overwatch that way you overwatch that way who do we have you overwatch that way got you covered come over here and overwatch that way Born again. All right, so there comes an enemy enemy spotted we should be taking a few shots at him enemy engaged all right he's dead <laughs> Nice. All right. General mission experience: 100 kill all enemies, 200 skill point pool, three. Ooh, and three of our guys leveled up. Okay, so this is the level. So Kinga, Amao, Finn, and Gabriel leveled up. Very nice. Very nice. Of human will, Fort Nonalema. Okay. Message from Tobias West, New Jericho to Phoenix Project. I'd always assumed the Phoenix Project would return one day, even after Symes disappeared. It seems to be defining, be the defining pattern of your history. All then rise again. I wonder if this points to an underlying weakness or an underlying strength. I saw, I saw, I suppose time will have to tell. Time and the choices you make, after all, you are not necessarily defined by what has come before. You can whatever you will allows you to be. That is the essence of the human experience. Okay, what happens to the what happened to those soldiers was disturbing. Okay. That is why I did not intervene. We could have stopped those soldiers ourselves easy, easily enough, but I need, needed you to see, to understand that far more is at stake here than just our ecosystem and our genetic purity. We are being robbed of what makes us human, our will. I fear neither the utopians at Sunedrian nor those Anu fanatics really understand that. If you can recognize the real nature of the threat, perhaps we can work together on stopping it. New Jericho's attitude to war to Phoenix Project plus four materials plus a hundred. Nice. Okay. Locate the remaining active Phoenix bases. We're working on. It. We're working on. Okay, so okay, so we, there's no point in going there. So where do we want to he head next? Let's actually have a look at our base. So, actually, let's have a look at our personnel. We can't hire people, it seems like. Let's have a look at diplomacy then. Disciples of Anu. He or he look kind of weird. So, friendly 6%, friendly 3%, unfriendly 11%, unfriendly 7%. Okay. So, all right. So we've met those two. Well, cool. Can we build some new stuff here? We can. Research lab, satellite uplink, energy generator, living quarters. Hmm. Or access lift, fabrication plant, training facility, medical bay, food production. I think we need to build some of this stuff. I think, first of all, we are losing food, so let's build some food production. And let's build a living quarters, because we didn't, we do have a living quarters. Okay. Then I don't want to build a living quarters. I think I'll build a, hmm. Maybe a training facility? Allows any soldier at the base to gain XP over time. I don't suppose we need to right now, so we'll just leave it. And then we'll go explore some more sites. Let's go explore here. 
score. There we go, scavenging site. Threat level medium. Light level night enemy Pandoran. Scavenging site. Eliminate all enemies to claim the resources. Miss zone. Morning scavenging missions are much more dangerous if within a miss zone. Right. I'm gonna cancel and see if that does that our Okay, we can. All right, but first we're going to move here. And we are going to go into our personnel. Because we had someone who was wounded, right? I guess not. Because we healed them. My cat is trying to climb on my lap here. Marvel. Alright. So... Okay, let's fly back here then. Oh, research complete. Neuric Delirium Index. An ODI algorithm has been developed. This will allow us to keep track of the strength of the unknown mental phenomena caused by the Pandoran presence, which appear to be increasing in severity as they expand their grip on our world. As the ODI increases, more humans will experience nightmares, hallucinations, attachment from reality and eventually brain seizures and death. We have estimated a tipping point for ODI beyond which the human race cannot be saved. Okay, that sounds scary. This over here. Okay. Okay. Oneric delirium, delirium Index. The ODI meter displays the current intensity of Oneric Delirium at 100%. Humanity cannot be saved. Okay, so we got a new thing over here. We found a video diary entry of a former researcher of the Phoenix Project. Judging by the appearance and mannerisms, the subject seems to have made the recording in a state of paranoia. Large parts of the entry contain un unintelligible rantings, but one clear segment talks about something called the Oneric Delirium Index. According to the subject's theory, the entire world is subject, subjected to ESP attacks that will inevitably lead to the end of the human species in less than a year. The video entry and all corresponding notes have been classified as top secret. Cool. Well, not cool that uh, humanity is on the brink of extinction, but cool nonetheless. All right, let's fly back here. Brain power. A message from Citizen Stas Sinedrian to the public. This new Jericho neural tech we've been hearing about, it sounds like pretty cool technology, really, but has anyone thought about how easily it could be abused by, uh, I don't know, an autocratic leader with delusions of grandeur? New Jericho's attitude to Sinedrian minus five, Sinedrian's attitude to New Jericho minus ten. Okay. All right, so we are basically out of time so in the next episode we will go in to this scavenging site and see what's going on there it's a medium threat level so it's a little bit more difficult than what we have already oh and we have our personnel that we need to level up so let's do that first so training gabriel you are now level 3. Quick aim. The action point cost of the next shot with a proficient weapon is reduced by 1 down to 0%. The weapon's accuracy is increased by, increased by 25% up to 100% for that shot. Oh yeah. We're getting that. We are getting that. And then we are going to give him some speed. And some willpower. Uh, that cost there. All right, that's fine. In willpower for him. Then we have the Kurt. He hasn't leveled up. Uh, Brajan Brian hasn't leveled up. Kinga Amao. He has leveled up. So we have body slam charge at enemy dealing damage based on weight carried. The action cost is increased based on the distance to the target. Handgun proficiency proficient with handguns at plus ten percent. Right, so let's try this body slam thing and he definitely needs all the speed that he can get so we'll do that and then we have Finn 
who has also leveled up to level 3, so return fire we can get, and expert runner, additional plus 2 speed. That's pretty nice. I think we'll grab both of those. And then we will give him some willpower. And I guess do that as well. It costs a little bit, that's fine. Alright. And that is it. So we have leveled up our guys. And we are ready to jump into our mission here at the start of the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.